Hi, I'm Brian Redman, 61st year of racing, and thanks for watching Drive in Ivan. Drive in Ivan here, and behind me, a very special car that's the end of an era. Specifically, it's a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado, but I'll tell you why it's special to me, and I'll tell you why Cadillacs of this era are very special indeed as well, and also we'll find out if I'm impressed. Well, you have to be impressed with the size and the scope of this automobile. It is huge. There's nothing really like it on the road today that's this long indeed. It's definitely a look or two from every angle, especially the front here with that large Cadillac grille and the rectangular headlights. The hubcaps and even the Eldorado script are definitely standouts in design to me. It is certainly a land yacht. It defies its behemoth size with a grace and style. Definitely a very cool convertible cruiser. And it just has that eternal classic shape that Cadillac is oh so famous for. Yes, the interior is one extremely comfortable, cushy place to be. And it's oh so luxurious. You have the oversized large Cadillac wood and plastic wheel right in front of you. <laughs> the pedals, they just look so familiar to me. I mean, I have so many fond memories of both Cadillac Eldorados and my dad's Coupe de Ville convertible from this era, which really shares a lot of the same parts. Uh, different trim, but uh, just very, very reminiscent. It just brings me right back to that day for me. It was in the uh, late 80s when I was driving a car like this frequently and uh, wow this was the top of the line luxury back then look at that automatic ventilation and climate control even a Cadillac emblem on the carpet the attention to over-the-top 70s luxury is very very notable and uh, still stands up today I think yes of course power windows and door locks and of course an ashtray too don't fear if you're the driver, then you get a much larger ashtray straight in front of you here. And uh, yeah, can't forget that detail in your 70s cruiser. The first stalk is your turn signals, and the second one is to adjust the tilting steering wheel. On either side here, you have your cruise control, and then over here, your controls for the convertible top. You get your 100 mile per hour speedometer and just an indicator of what gear you're in because after all, worrying about things like oil pressure and temperature and coolant levels, well that's not luxury at all. So you certainly don't need those in your luxury automobile. And then of course you have your whiz bang AM FM stereo too. On the door, controls for your outside mirrors and also your power windows and locks. Yes, all four of the windows. And then just above the steering wheel to the left is your fuel gauge. So there you have it, the creme de la creme of luxury in the 70s, this wonderful Cadillac interior with space for technically two up front. So there you have it, the creme de la creme of luxury in the 70s with room for technically two up front, but yes, more. And then technically two or three in the back, but yeah, you could certainly fit more if you wanted to, but this is all the luxury you got in the mid 70s. But this is all the luxury you could ever hope for in the mid 70s. You could certainly pop the trunk in the glove box, but why would you want to when you can just swing open the emblem? And in the trunk, you'll find your spare tire and well, actually plenty of room if you don't have the owner's current bags in here. And uh, I guess if you got rid of the spare tire, you could certainly go for a long trip in this Cadillac Eldorado. There's more luxury tricks up the sleeve of this Cadillac Eldorado. Check this out. Automatic closing, yeah. Powering the Eldorado is a 500 cubic inch V8 that makes 190 horsepower. That's good for a zero to 60 time of, well, about 15 seconds and a top speed of just 109 miles an hour all while returning 13 miles per gallon. But hey, if you have this car, who cares about any of that anyway? That's not what it's all about.
getting behind the wheel of this El Dorado is almost like running into a beloved ex-girlfriend from way back in the day. This car is so familiar to me. My family had a convertible and upholstery and car radio repair shop. And uh, we had like three of these around and my dad had a turquoise Cadillac Coupe de Ville convertible with white leather interior and that shares many parts with this one and also a very similar drive. The way the accelerator feels, the super, super cushy, comfy, luxurious ride like you're sitting in your favorite chair in your family room is just oh so cool. I have a Citroen with a hydro pneumatic suspension and there's something more endearing about this to me. That one soaks up the bumps better and that one keeps you more level, but this is the ultimate luxury comfort. The Cadillac ride of the 70s is incredibly special and jumping back in and cruising in this with the top down, it brings back so many memories I can't even tell you. Now the history on these cars, well, 1952 to 2002, so they had a 50 year run, but this 1976 Cadillac Eldorado is actually the ninth generation. So they kept making changes, and in this one they changed the grill a bit, they changed to rectangular headlights, they got rid of those fancy, luxurious wheel covers, so it's really a matter of taste. I like the Coupe de Ville with those wheel covers, but this one really, really looks good. The white contrasting with those black hubcaps and the red interior really makes this one pop. Of course, those are the original Corvette colors, white exterior with red interior, so it's definitely a classic car staple, but it works very well on this Cadillac. The one we had was white with black interior, and we had another, I think, 74 Eldorado, that earlier style, that was black on black. I called it the Batmobile, actually, because uh, it just had that look. Just look at that hood. It's so long, and that incredible Cadillac ornament in front of you. Well, this is a memorable driving experience just because of that, just because of the size and the scope of the thing. And uh, of course, with the convertible, you get excellent outward vision. And uh, yeah, this is uh, alfresco motoring about as good as it gets in this Cadillac convertible. Just oh so comfortable and oh so pleasurable when the weather is warm and you can just drive with the top down. Well, I keep talking about the drive of this car and how special it was in the 70s. And that really all changed about 2004 when they came out with sort of an updated line of Cadillacs and they even had a CTS-V. Now I've reviewed the CTS-V wagon, the six-speed manual, which is so bizarre in a Cadillac and I talk about that huge paradigm shift in that video at length, but I'll just say, you know, to go from a car with a super cushy ride to the Cadillac CTS-V wagon with a six-speed manual, zero to 60 in like three seconds, it's crazy. You know, all of a sudden they're competing for Nürburgring times and things like that. Just a total paradigm shift for Cadillac, the company. And, uh, you know, as someone who's a purist and loves these classic Cadillacs, you know, I appreciate all great cars, but it's so, so different. And it's just such an incredible change for Cadillacs and the way they feel when you drive them and the way they feel behind the wheel that uh, it's a little unnerving. I mean, it's, uh, it's a huge difference. And uh, I guess as a car guy, you know, I love sports cars. Most of my cars are sports cars and uh, check those out elsewhere. Like I said, you can just search what does drive and Ivan drive, but loving a good sports car and loving the ride of this car. And like I said, and even my Citroen, which is a unique ride, I just appreciate unique automobiles. And I mentioned the Lexus LS as having a special ride, which has a super buttery feel, similar to the Rolls Royce. And cars that have special qualities about them, like the drive, I just like a special car. And this car is absolutely special. What the new generation of Cadillacs is bringing you is something entirely different, 
but still very cool and strangely very Cadillac as well. Yes, this car and its history, it's always been the top of the line luxury car or at very most second luxury car that Cadillac has to offer. The Coupe de Ville was similar, but this ride and this era of Cadillac really is just so luxurious and so special, I think. Not just special to me. Now, in terms of pricing, well, you can get a runner probably that needs a lot of work under or around 10,000. For a car that's gonna be good, very good, I think you have to start paying about 20 and on up. I've seen them as high as close to $100,000. So really, I think, yes, this Cadillac Eldorado in any Cadillac of this era really makes an excellent classic car. It brings you a lot of style, a lot of comfort, a lot of luxury. If you have the money to pay for that 13 MPGs and can put in regular unleaded gas, well, that's good. Then you can afford to drive this car. Otherwise, well, I think you should look elsewhere. But it does make for an excellent practical classic that is not too expensive to get into and is so unique and so special and certainly bigger than anything else you're going to see at a car show in most cases unless it's some sort of crazy crazy vehicle this thing is super super huge and the size is really one of the things that makes it fun and makes it imposing when i was shooting this review in the parking lot a couple walked by and they just had all sorts of questions about it and uh, it was funny just telling them all the facts about it things like that they were kind of shocked being an older japanese couple i don't think they grew up with cars like this and uh cars in japan are so small so to see them react was really really funny and kind of cute actually they really really liked it and they liked the styling and they were surprised when they found out what year it was as well. So this is a car that turns heads. It's a car with a heck of a lot of Cadillac history. They finished things off with a bicentennial edition where they made a couple hundred of them, 1776 to 1976, to celebrate America's birth and Cadillac as well. So yes, I am impressed. This car is super, super special to me and please smash that like button and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you enjoy this car as much as I do and did back in the day. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and again like this video, comment and subscribe and share as well and also just search any car and drive in Ivan on YouTube, the Cadillac CTSV wagon and you can see what drive and Ivan drives just search what does drive and Ivan drive and you should find it also check out my free or mine music video which has a lot of my car collection in it an original song that I wrote I think you'll like it and also check out my disc golf videos that's a fun sport you could be playing with your entire family and don't forget about my music videos as well check me out playing all of the instruments on Hotel California. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'm driving Ivan.